Hello, welcome back. Uh, this video, we will move to next exercise uh, using a reasoner uh, in ontology. Uh, before moving that is uh, in the right, uh, I hope you uh, have a chance to visit it, this uh, repository. Uh, and I uh, expect that this repository can uh, help you uh, the, during this uh, practice on the uh, Prodigy's uh, modeling. Uh, on my um, primary, uh, the main file is uh, in the root fo uh, folder. It's my PISA tutorial, uh, which we created during the last uh, exercises. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned, this uh, after every exercise, I put a snapshot uh, model saved here. Uh, so uh, it's uh, ended by the exercise number. Uh, so what's that uh, used for is uh, if you uh, want to start uh, your uh, this uh, pizza all uh, practice uh, from any step uh, from any uh, the, the practice or exercise you can just uh, use uh, PRG to open the any number uh, so this number uh, number exercise zero two store the snapshot uh, till this uh, exercise so uh, like today is uh, when we finish uh, exercise uh, 05 for uh, reasoner, uh, we will save uh, one more file here. So uh, after the whole uh, the, uh, the practice finished, uh, we have our step by step uh, the modeling uh, that we can uh, use and also uh, try to review uh, if you want to uh, uh, analyze uh, at any step. Uh, so that is the purpose for this uh, snapshot models uh, folder. Uh, uh, to be used. Uh, for today, is we are moving to the next uh, uh, the exercise. Uh, so it's talking about the reasoner. Uh, so be, uh, so what's, uh, what about the reasoner? So uh, here, uh, if you search from uh, the web, you'll get our uh, clear definition. Uh, the reasoner in semantic or ontology is the software application uh, in for logical consequences from a set of the asserted assumptions in an ontology. Uh, the primary uh, the feature they provide after all four is one is the ontology consistency check, class satisfiability, classification, instance check, and the conjunctive uh, query answering. So those are the key five uh, the features when we're talking about the reasoner. The reasoner, you can think uh, simply is, uh, is an automatically checker or validator for you uh, during your using the ontology. Uh, so let's uh, start to uh, check this step-by-step uh, -step in this uh, exercise uh, 05. Uh, so last time if we stop uh, on 04 with uh, creating three uh, same level uh, classes pizza pizza base and the pizza topping uh, but uh, because I already have a reasoner enabled so uh, it's possible if you don't uh, enable reasoner you see the pizza topping is in red uh, so that is like this way uh, so that is the uh, the reasoners uh, uh, the purpose uh, if we have the reasoner uh, that can help to check the consistency so uh, check if you have this uh, palette reasoner installed. Click reasoner menu uh, in the bottom. I switch off my reasoner uh, for this uh, exercise. Now it's none. Last of uh, the exercise is I already checked to the hermit uh, the reasoner. So uh, I have the hermit reasoner, uh, but I don't have this uh, palette. Uh, so as here, uh, we can add this uh, palette. So you can e use either uh, reasoner, uh, but on uh, this uh, practice, uh, we try to uh, uh, test the palette. So through the file and go to the plugin. Let's uh, wait on is uh, open. So from here, scroll down, uh, you should see here. Uh, we don't install that. So we only uh, install, I think it's the, uh, the sum of few things, uh, the, uh, the default part. 
So let's uh, check this list and select install. So you can uh, read uh, the, uh, this one is for the property 4.x, but we are already five. So let's see. So is there's uh, anything uh, the abnormal? So it's a dual license. So it's the uh, one is the all and also the uh, the, uh, the linked data. Version now is 2.3. So always check on startup. Okay, so let's just install that. Update will take effect when you next start Prodigy. So let's uh, do this. Let's save and close. And I will go to here. Open my this my Prodigy. Ensure you're safe, uh, but I believe it's, uh, we already saved that before. So you can open recent, check this file, my pizza tutorial, load that, and then uh, with this, uh, now you should see uh, uh, the palette here. It's two, it's one is uh, incremental, one is this. Uh, we just uh, focus on this uh, palette. Uh, with palette selected in the reasoner menu, uh, execute, let's uh, select, uh, and then the execute star reasoner. So you can use uh, control plus R, it's okay. Then reasoner active. So here, that is the thing. Uh, the next time you make a change to the ontology, the text will change to say reasoner state out of sync with active ontology. It's a small ontology, the reasoner runs very fast, so uh, you can uh, leave on that. So then is the, it will be keep uh, running. Mm. Uh, but because I don't have the right now, so uh, I, I don't need to uh, have uh, this uh, run again. So, but if you uh, still see this right, so uh, you can uh, put here, synchronize uh, reasoner. So that is the thing. Oh, it's a uh, Windows. Let me see. Do, do we have that? Refresh uh, user interface. It's also uh, putting thing and any highlight uh, by right should be go away. One last thing is uh, we need to configure our reasoner. By default, the reasoner doesn't perform all possible inferences because some inferences can take long. So. Uh, but in this tutorial, we were always dealing with this small and simple ontology. So we want to see everything is uh, the in, uh, reasoner can do. Uh, so you uh, have a chance to go to the reasoner configure. Uh, this will bring up a dialog with several check uh, box here. Uh, find out uh, these uh, uh, the reasoners. So if they are they aren't all checked, check them all. So by default, uh, let's see. So they don't check uh, disjoint cl uh, classes. Let's check. They don't check domain range, domain and the data property. Oh, after that is uh, uh, where you may receive a warning. So let's uh, see. No warning. So that, that's fine. So that's all for this uh, reasoner. So now uh, let's uh, make that uh, uh, the active. And we save this uh, now. Uh, so we uh, that's a finish on this uh, uh, practice uh, zero 05. Uh, in the uh, let me uh, show you some uh, the reference information. Uh, so in the repository uh, under here. So I will add a video link here. Uh, but I put is uh, two uh, reference sample uh, the link. One is this uh, hermit by default, and another is a palette. The hermit is uh, uh, is a quite long uh, uh, the history uh, of the reasoner. So this is the uh, the link for uh, for you to separate uh, download uh, the hermit uh, reasoner. But it's already uh, built in. Uh, uh, within this uh, prodigy, uh, but you can uh, learn something about uh, this uh, re uh, the hermit reasoner. 
uh, and the, uh, the pilot is a uh, reasoner, is a part of the, uh, the Stardog, uh, the community, so it's under their union, uh, the, the repository. Uh, you can also get uh, the, some description here if you want to uh, get this uh, for your other uh, the ontology editor. Uh, you can get this uh, uh, from here. So uh, that is the two link uh, to give you for reference. Uh, but within this uh, exercise 05, we already uh, enable uh, both. Uh, so you, you can, if you uh, want to try Hermit, you can switch to that as well. So, uh, but just to follow the practice uh, in this guide, uh, uh, let's keep a palette from now on. Yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, talk later. Bye.